Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today I created this uh, simple tag from scrapbook papers. Before going to that, I, I wanted to show you some new uh, scrapbooking papers that I got and I will use uh, actually in my uh, tags and art journals, uh, maybe for some backgrounds or focal points, just to give you some in inspiration and ideas. I like it when I see uh, other uh, things that people bought uh, to have some ideas, so I will do the same here. This beautiful paper you will recognize is the focal point on my new tag actually. I saw these uh, beautiful uh, cups uh, when I was looking around and uh, I thought uh, I can definitely cut them. Uh, they have beautiful sentiments on them, glitters and everything. It's from Bob Bobani. Uh, and it's double sided so at the back of it there's a beautiful pattern as well and here's another one uh, this i thought could be a good background or collage uh, paper it's from kaiser craft uh, there is a home sweet home and uh, like a newspaper and the back of it is an amazing uh, wooden uh, type of background and this is another one from Kaiser Craft. Uh, this has lots of cloaks, so it has lots of focal points for me. I can cut them, uh, uh, use parts of it or uh, all of it. And at the back, there's a nice uh, green background. And actually, there's a sentiment, uh, very beautiful, so I can cut and use it as well. And this is again from uh, Kaiser Craft. It's a sticker set actually. Uh, I really like buying sticker sets, uh, you can use the parts of them, there are lots of sentiments, uh, matching colors, uh, there are lots of cloaks, uh, other uh, items, uh, backgrounds uh, or alphabet letters and I love the color scheme, uh, all these uh, nice muted colors. This one I thought would be very nice uh, background paper. Uh, it can be uh, used for a tag, art journal. It's from uh, Lemon Craft. And I love blues and beiges and browns together. Uh, so I really love it. And the back of it, there's another beautiful design again with blues and uh, beige colors. Moving on, I have this uh, tag uh, set from 7 Dot Studio. Uh, it's again the color scheme is really nice. It can go with uh, many other colors. Uh, you can uh, put it directly on your tag, use a part of it. Uh, it is uh, multifunctional. And I have these uh, embellishments, flares, they are uh, flat buttons. I got them because I like the color scheme and uh, they look uh, playful so I can use them as embellishments. And of course uh, the word uh, sentiment stickers, uh, you always need these. Uh, so this is from uh, Seven Dot Studio again. There are many sentiments that you can just take and uh, stick on your art journals, tags, uh, all of your projects. And they, they are in multiple colors. And again another sticker set from 7 Dot Studio. It's called Illumination. Uh, again there are lots of uh, sentiments, uh, shapes, uh, borders uh, as stickers. So I can use it in many places. And finally another uh, word set uh, from uh, 7 Dot Studio. Uh, again you, you will find many sentiments uh, that can be used in uh, multiple occasions for my UK friends I will put the online stores that I got these uh, scrapbook papers from uh, but they are well-known brands and available in US as well so I'll put a couple of links for my uh, friends in the U US as well now moving on to the tag uh, I have this again another scrapbook paper uh, from Bobani it is a winter uh, scene uh, and it's very beautiful it has glitter uh, on it as well I will just cut it in the shape of my tag uh, I'm using a chipboard tag and uh, I will stick it on, uh, on it uh, with a matte medium 
In this video I wanted to show you if you have a couple of uh, nice scrapbook papers and they are uh, really not uh, expensive to buy. You can create a very nice looking uh, tags or art journals uh, in a very short time and uh, not with a lot of effort. So this can be a good way to start uh, if you are a beginner or if you uh, want to do something quickly. I'm just giving a little bit texture uh, to my tag using this swirl uh, stencil uh, and my modeling paste, uh, just applying it here and there. Uh, while I do that, I can also tell you, you will find a list of supplies as usual down at the description area or in my blog, as well as close-up pictures uh, of the project I created. It looks really nice and completes the scene. While I uh, leave it to dry, I will uh, uh, prepare my other uh, embellishments. These are snowflakes uh, chipboards, uh, wooden embellishments actually. Uh, I got these uh, very cheap from either Michaels or Hobby Lobby, I don't remember now uh, when I was in US. And I will emboss my uh, snowflakes. I wanted to show you as well another product, maybe you would find it useful. This is Embossed Dabber from Ranger. This is uh, what Versamark does or any other embossing in ink pad uh, does. Uh, you dab it anywhere and then uh, you can uh, use your emboss embossing powders and heat set it. It works like exactly like Versamark. I wanted to show you this because in some occasions maybe it might be useful like if you want to emboss over a stencil uh, I find it easier to apply. I used Wow uh, sparkling uh, snow uh, embossing powder here. It's, uh, it has glitters so it looks very nice. And I will uh, use one of these cups as my uh, sentiment. Uh, I like the one in the middle that says uh, snowflakes are kisses from heaven. I have large snowflakes so it goes with the scene that I am creating. I cut it with my uh, craft knife because I didn't want to destroy the paper cutting all through the way uh, to reach this cup. I decided to put this little uh, chipboard lamp as well. This is a gift from my uh, friend. Uh, she sent it uh, all the way from India to me uh, but it will be very useful now. I'm covering it with uh, gesso uh, to get rid of the color of the chipboard and uh, I'm going to use my spray. Uh, this is uh, Cafe Olat, uh, if I am pronouncing it uh, right, from Lindy's Stamp Gang. And on top uh, I'm going to use a uh, rust paste uh, from Prima. With this uh, the look of the uh, lamp will be uh, more realistic. I'm just applying it uh, with my brush uh, and uh, I try to be uh, not perfect uh, covering it all. Uh, I apply it uh, here and there uh, trying to make it like uh, it's old and worn out uh, rather than covering it uh, completely. And it looks uh, really like an old uh, lamp. I will add gesso here and there as well again to make it uh, more realistic. And finally I will decide uh, on my composition after sticking uh, my uh, lamp. I am using tacky glue here and uh, bring my snowflakes. Uh, I think I will use them uh, here and I will uh, stick my uh, cup with the embellishment in the middle. But before I do that uh, I decided to brighten the color a little bit. Uh, I used the uh, color bloom spray in glistening waves and this is another uh, learning. Uh, I forgot I didn't just saw uh, this pattern paper um, so the spray wherever I sprayed it, it just uh, was soaked into the paper uh, immediately so it didn't uh, flow uh, or uh, it didn't uh, spread very well. Uh, so I decided to apply gesso a little bit, especially where I will uh, apply the spray. And as you see now, it flows down, uh, it spreads much better, rather than sticking on the place that I spray. And I will use another color from uh, Lindy's Stamp Gang. 
Again, you will find the colors I'm using uh, down below at the description area. I'm just trying to use the tones that I see in the pattern paper. Some uh, blues, turquoise kind of blues and uh, browns, uh, so that it goes with my tag. I'm spraying back and forth uh, until I uh, see and uh, I'm happy with the look. Uh, I sometimes use gesso as well to highlight some areas. And I couldn't finish the tag. Uh, that night uh, I was working on it. Uh, so we are here in the morning uh, again. Uh, I will continue spraying uh, some more color. Uh, I, after I saw it uh, dry, uh, I wasn't happy with the vibrancy. Uh, that's why I'm using a little bit more uh, glistening waves from Color Bloom. And I will also use again gesso to highlight especially the swirls that I did. And finally, I think I am happy with it, uh, so I am going to stick my embellishments. I used uh, foam tape uh, at the back of the snowflakes, so I want them to be erased. Uh, and actually, I doubled it up. Uh, I used uh, foam uh, tape twice. And uh, in the middle, I'm going to stick my uh, cup. I will just stick it where it touches the snowflakes. I will bring back the hole in my uh, tag with my crocodile and I am putting uh, an eyelet, uh, brown color, bronze color actually. I found this uh, ribbon in my stash, it's a white uh, glittery uh, ribbon so it goes with uh, the snowflakes because snowflakes are glittery embossed. And uh, finally, uh, I'm going to embellish these uh, snowflakes and my cup with this new glitter drop. The color uh, matches the background of my tag perfectly. And of course, the final touch is uh, white splashes. I will give a border to my tag as well, uh, just darkening up the edges with uh, my uh, Distress Ink. This is uh, Peacock Feathers. And my tag is finished. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and got inspired with it. Uh, you can really create uh, quick and easy tags uh, having a couple of nice pattern papers and some embellishments. As usual, you will find the list of supplies down below at the description area or at my blog uh, as well as the close-up pictures. Don't forget to give me thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. That's uh, how I know you like my projects and what you want to see. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.